um, please ignore, this is not going to be my same background. It's been a really hectic 24 hours, and I just wanted to get this up. I'm sorry that I missed must have Mondays yesterday. There's a reason for it. If you follow me on, fa especially Facebook, you'll know that yesterday we actually had um, tornadoes come through my town that I live in now, and there's actually a storm team in Traer right now, like, trying to verify that it was a tornado, but there's no, there's, you cannot convince me that what happened, there's an ant on my wall. Why are you here? Go. Go away. Anywho, you cannot convince me that looking at the damage of that was just straight line winds. Um, what, I'll give you just a really brief kind of what happened yesterday. And I'm sorry if I keep looking over here. I don't have a... I'm using my Fujifilm camera. It's like an S500 something or another. I knew that I had it somewhere and I found it. But I don't have a viewfinder that I can like look at and I can't figure out quite yet how to put it on my like try and get it up on my computer so like I can make sure I'm in focus all the time so if I, I have it like my mirror behind it so I'm trying to like still make sure that I'm in focus and like in view or whatever a couple weeks ago we were over at my mother-in-law's because a really bad storm was coming in and this and the tornado sirens go off Back home, if the tornado sirens go off, there is a freaking visible tornado that has touched down and it is coming for the town. So, you better believe my happy ass grabbed my kid and went down into the basement. Back home, tornado sirens mean bad shit. Yesterday, we're sitting there and I'm actually, I had just gotten out of the shower, had just finished up my hair and was about to start on my makeup so I could film my must-have Mondays and all the electricity goes out. And I was like, well, shit. And, um... So we just kind of sat around, and I heard it getting, like, really windy and stuff outside. And so Chris and I, my husband, we go outside and start looking around, and I am not lying. It was freaking green outside. It was insane. A couple of other times that I've seen this guy look like that, and it's produced a tornado each time. So about that time that I had looked outside, and I was like, Chris, I don't like the look of that. We get a notification saying that we were in a tornado warning. We've been in a watch since about 9 a.m. yesterday morning. And um, so we, I, we get inside, and about the time that we shut the door and we were about to start getting ready to head down to my mother-in-law, she just lives, we live on the same street, she just lives on the other end of town, and which is a really, really, really small town. It takes like .5 seconds to get there. But we were about to start getting everything together to go down to her house because she has a basement and we just live in apartments and we don't. Uh, the tornado sirens go off, so we didn't have time to get down there. Uh, Chris, Easton, and I go into our bathroom, and we don't have a bathtub. We have um, a stand-up shower, but it's wide enough to where we could all sit down. So I took down, um, like, all the shampoos and everything, so if something hit, we're not going to get knocked out by shampoo. We sit there, and we can still kind of hear the sirens in the background. And Easton's fun because we're trying to, like, keep calm. Because any time that, like, Chris and I freak out, he freaks out. He does not like when we get antsy or anything. So, we're sitting there for about five minutes. I'm trying to get, because our electricity is still out, I'm trying to get the um, live stream from one of the local news stations up on my phone, but it won't come up. Um, we're in there for about five minutes. I finally start to get the live stream to load, and we hear this, like, whirling. And I looked up at Chris, and I was like, that's not just the wind. That's a tornado. And he looked up at me, and he was like, yeah, I was kind of thinking the same thing. Um, so we're, like, hunkered down, and we, we were probably in the shower for a good half hour. One of my really good friends that I went to high school with, Joel, he um, is a, he's like a certified storm chaser. I, I, I'm sorry if you're watching this, Joel, and I just completely, like, butchered, like, your awesome hobby, but he had sent me a message, and he was like, if your ass isn't in, like, taking cover, take cover now, and because everything was so, like, the rain was coming sideways, so if there was a tornado, nobody would have been able to spot it because it would have been rain wrapped. In there for about 30 minutes, he, the sirens go off. I 
text him, I'm like, do we have an all clear? Because he was watching the radar for me. Because at that point, the only way that we would have known if it was a tornado at that exact point is what is if it would have been radar indicated to you. It's like, whatever it was is past you now. So we go outside, and I actually posted a video on my Facebook. And it is, like, there's shit everywhere. Trees are down everywhere. So we still don't have power, of course. So we load everything up. We get a hold of Chris's mom, make sure that she's okay. She was fine. She was in the um, basement with the dogs. And so we start to drive around. And there is, I mean, there's trees down everywhere. There's trees down in people's houses, on people's cars, um, trees through people's houses. I mean, trees just down everywhere. And you could see, like, this path of destruction. And as we start driving around, there's, like, two or three different paths. Um, we go out south of town, and there's, like, a little um, trucking company that has, like, semi-trailers. And a truck was picked up and thrown about 500 yards into a cornfield behind it. There's metal that is just all twisted and wrangled up. And I'm sorry, straight line winds don't do that. Uh, rotating winds do, like a tornado. And we looked down, we were driving, trying to see the damage, trying to see what we could do. And we were, we helped one of uh, my mother-in-law's really good friends had some damage to their house and had some tree trees down. So we had gone over there. And if it was a tornado, and like I said, there's a storm crew out right now verifying what it was. Um, if it was a tornado, which I believe it was, it was maybe an e, uh, EF1, an F1, and I know they change it to EF1s, I hate that, an F1, maybe an F2, at the very, very most. Um, but it still does damage, and there's still people that can't get into their houses. So, it's really nice to be back in a small town and see, like, the community coming together. And I know that's, like, super soppy or whatever, but it's true. And if you live in a small town or if you have lived in a small town in the past, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, anyways, that's why I didn't get my must-have Mondays up yesterday. I am going to get them up today, and I will try and get the tips and tutorials Tuesday up tonight as well. It really just depends on how much I can crank out. So, we are going to head and going to go ahead and just get right into it. Um, now, the first thing that I want to talk about is I've talked to you guys about Scentsy, and I decided that I'm going to start doing a, like, what my favorite scent, scent of the month is. Um, so I shouldn't be talking about this because this was my favorite scent of the month. But, oh, you no, know, I burned this this week, too. Um, but my favorite one for this week, and it'll be in my monthly as well, um, is the Simply Noshi Pear. And this is just described as a crisp, well-balanced note of pure sweet pear. And it smells so good. It's not overly sweet or overly fragrant. It's just perfect. My husband is obsessed with it. Um, so I burned that all this past week. I saw this at Target and I was like, I've heard some good stuff about this. I'll try it. So I tried it and I do really, really, really like it. I've noticed that I have, like, if I just get out of the shower and my hair is super, super tangly, because my hair is so thick, um, this doesn't really do the job. I still have to use, like, my other brush or whatever, like, to really get out, like, the deep tangles. Um, but I really think that that's just because my hair is so thick. Um, but this, when my hair is dry or when it's, like, not as tingly, has been awesome. And I've noticed that I haven't, like, pulled out. Like, you know when you brush your hair and you come out and you've got, like, a woolly mammoth in your hairbrush? Um, I've noticed that that hasn't been as bad since I've been using this. So I've really, really, really been liking this. Some other hair things that I've been using and loving and you'll notice, like, my hair is curly. My hair will probably be curly for the rest of the summer just because when it's hot and humid outside, it takes me, it probably takes me a good hour to blow dry curl and, like, really fix my hair. And when it's hot and humid like this, it gets frizzy and just out of control anyways. So there's really no point in me doing that. So I just do, like, this is, I have naturally really curly hair, and I didn't brush out my hair before I diffused it today, and it's, like, a lot crunchier than I want it to be, but whatever, I'm just staying in today. Um, but what I do with those, whenever I do have my hair curly, I get, I use the um, TG Catwalk Curl Collection 
Curlesque Strong Mousse and the Curls Rock Amplifier. This is more um, like a cream. And I mix these two together and I do just about maybe like a silver dollar amount of the mousse and one to two pumps of the cream and this makes it not as crunchy as long as I brush out my hair which I didn't do today um, and then if it's super humid outside I'll put a squirt of the silky um, the silky sexy hair frizz eliminator for thick coarse hair I'll put like a pump of this in and rub it all together and that really helps contain uh, or control like my flyaways and my frizz uh, and then I just diffuse it with just diffuse it with this guy and it takes like five minutes and I'm done. And then I just like pin it back like it is now. Go about my day. Um, the Salon Perfect Perfectly Glamorous Demi Wispies in Black Lashes. These are so freaking amazing. They are just, hope that's focused. They're like just enough to give me a little oomph. Like they're not overly dramatic, but it's like just enough. Like I could wear this with like a really simple makeup look and it still look natural. And I could wear this with like a really glamorous look and it still look like good. So these I've been loving. All right, now for what everybody actually cares about, the makeup. All right, I have been loving um, my Urban Decay B6 Vitamin Infused Complexion prep spray and that's what it looks like they do sell this in a mini like a travel size now um like this size and when I bought this they didn't I think this retails for $30 but I've had this since February or March and I'm just out about halfway and I use this almost every day I do this moisturize and then my sunscreen if I'm going to be outside and then my primer and it is amazing. I love this stuff. It's great. It's got a lot of um, natural, like, vitamins and minerals and stuff in it that's just, like, good for your skin. The foundation I was absolutely loving last week, I fell back in love with my CoverGirl True Blend Liquid Makeup Foundation. Um, I am in the color I7. That's what it looks like warm beige. This is my tan color. Um, I probably should get a, another color for like when I'm not tan, but I love this stuff. It has perfect coverage. Um, I really like the finish on it. It's not really a matte and it's really not a luminous finish. It's more like a demi matte. Um, so it's perfect. Love, love, love it. This is a new find that I've been really liking. This is the e.l.f. Eye Refresh. It's just this like cooling roller ball and it just has this like clear whatever that you put underneath your eyes that helps with like the puffiness and I just put this on like before I put my primer on and I've been really 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 liking it it's clear doesn't have anything to it it's not like tacky or anything it just really helps me wake up in the morning so I've been really 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 liking that oh new brow thing that I found um you guys know I like this so new Kashuk uh tinted eyebrow gel I love my benefit gimme brow and I wanted to find something a little bit cheaper. So, where do I go? Elf. This is the Eyebrow Treat and Tame. And this is in Clear Light. And this is just a nice tinted brow gel. I do believe that this has fibers in it. So this is going to be very, very, very similar to the Benefit Gimme Brow because it's going to fill on, help fill in any like sparse areas that you have on your eyebrow. I have never used this treat section. It's just this clear, like you're supposed to put this on before you put the brow um, gel on and it's supposed to help like if you have really sparse eyebrows or if you really don't have any eyebrows at all, this is supposed to help grow your eyebrows I guess I don't need them to grow anymore so I don't use it um, but been loving that this week a new a couple new things that my friend Danielle um, I'll put her YouTube page below she's amazing she is freaking wonderful she she is a self-taught makeup artist 
Um, she lives in Arkansas. I used to do pageants with her. I've talked about her before. She's freaking amazing. She does some badass tutorials. So I'll leave her information below. You need to go check her out now. Subscribe to her. Tell her I sent you. Um, but I took two of her recommendations and ran with them. And I have been in love with them this week. Um, I finally got on the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer um, train. Love it. That this is in the color Fair, and I use this as a highlight underneath my eyes, my little tree on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, keep it spot, and then on my chin, and it's just so freaking good. Love it. Um, her other recommendation that I've been using is the um, L'Oreal Paris Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. What this is, this is just, this is supposed to be a primer, but what Danielle uses this as, and I've been using this as, is a cheekbone highlight, and I hope you can see that. And it's just this, I have it on today, if you can see it. Um, I have it on my cheekbones today, and it is just like the perfect subtle highlight that is just freaking stunning. You just have to use a little, little, little bit and just dab it on your cheekbones and oh, oh, amazing. Oh, maze balls. Um, my setting powder that I've been loving this week, um, just to set everything, is the Ready Set Gorgeous Fresh Complexion. I know that this is a powder foundation, but I just use this with, um, a light fluffy brush and kind of just dust it all over just to set my foundation. Um, the Ready Set Gorgeous Powder Foundation. This is in 105 Fair. I probably need to go up a shade. I really, really, really do like this. Um, because it is a powder foundation, you do use, need to use um, just like a light fluffy brush instead of like, say, a kabuki brush because that's going to just pack on more product and you're going to get like a major cake face. Some blushes I was loving this week is the e.l.f. blush in Twinkle Pink and this is $3. Really nice pinky coral color. Has a little bit of shimmer in it but not like, not like overly shimmer. Like you can use this on like, I'm just saying like a lot. Can you see that? I don't even know if you can see that. I hope you can see that. But it's just this really nice peachy, peachy pink color that I think is just perfect for summer. Like when I'm not wanting to do a super bold one like with these other two. Um, loved that last week. The other two were Milani Bates blushes. These were released in the spring of this year in their permanent to the collection. This is Delicioso Pink, which took me forever to find. And then Bella Rosa. And Delicioso Pink looks lark. Looks like this. It's just this really pretty I hope you can see that. Can you see that? It's just this really pretty blue toned, like hot pink color. Like this is straight up a Barbie color. Redonkulous. That's it right there. Like, I have to use the, um, I use the Real Techniques blush brush because it's domed and it doesn't pick up as much product. And so I just use that and very, very, like, lightly tap that on, shake it, and then just very lightly tap that on my cheekbones, um, or on the apples of my cheeks. It is so pigmented, but it is so freaking beautiful. And then Bella Rosa, you have to be even lighter handed with because this shit is red. But, oh, uh, when you use it, like, correctly and you use a really light hand with it, like, pigmentation on that, uh, seriously, um, is just stunning. Same thing, like, just barely shake it, and then barely tap it on the apples of my cheeks. So freaking gorgeous. Love it. Eyes. I was loving all last week. I broke out the Naked palette. Yes, I did. And showed this guy some love. Um, I loved this. Like, I, I remembered why I originally bought it. It's just... 
I used a lot of the really glitter, like glittery and metallic shades on my lid. And y'all loved it. Eyeliner I used pretty much all week was my Rimmel Black Gel Eyeliner. It was, got used up to hell, and I applied it with my Eco Tools Dual Ended Brush, and I just used the Define, and it's perfection. Lo this is probably one of my favorite gel eyeliners. The mascara combination I loved all last week was my L'Oreal Voluminous Original in Black, and put on top of that, my Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal Volume Express Mascara. This stuff is like holy grail status. This stuff is freaking amazing. The wand is huge, which y'all know I love. And it's a, like, bristle brush, which y'all know I love. And it's just oh, perfection. The Whitening Lightning Color Your Smile Lip Gloss. And this is in, let me give you a side that doesn't have any writing on it. This is in Pink Tiara. And this is just this really pretty milky pink color. And if you're not familiar with the Whitening Lightning Color Your Smile lip glosses, um, where have you been? Because they're just, I mean, they are stunning. They have, I've got a good amount of them. And I've got a few more on my wish list. So, let me see if I can get this to pick up that color. That's, I have that on top of my Rimmel um, lip liner in Easton Snob. <sighs> Love it. But, I hope, can you, you might be able to see that from here. I can't really tell. But, it is just perfection. And, if you're, like I said, if you're not familiar with these, I'm not sure if they're still on Hope Look right now or not. But, I know that they're running a sale on their website. And, these are just... If you're not familiar with them, you need to go get them. They're some of the best glosses I've ever used. They've got a little mirror on it as well as the LED light on the inside. So if you're out, you have like everything you need to just touch it up. And I love them. They're not super tacky. They're really long wearing. And I just, ugh, ugh, love them. Love them. That is all for my must-have Mondays. Make sure to leave me a comment below and let me know what some of your must-have Mondays were for last week. Also, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here. Um, you guys know I've got this big bag of stuff that is just piling up with stuff for my first giveaway that I'm having when I hit 250 subscribers, but that stuff is staying here until I hit 250. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you would like to see more Must Have Mondays in the future because I love doing them. Um, make sure to stay tuned. Hopefully, I'm going to get a Tips and Tutorials Tuesday uploaded tonight. If not, I promise it will be up tomorrow. I am trying to crank these out and get back on my regular schedule for uploading. Um, also, be on the lookout by the end of the week for my June favorites because you're not going to want to miss them. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye. I can't go, apparently I cannot go through an entire video without screwing with my hair at least one time. Seriously. Hold your horse. Oop. Oop. Don't. Kind of, I don't know what this is. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, it's so ghetto set up right now. You are not it. Drop it on the floor, Stevie. Bart. God, hold on. It's getting so hot. Is that I5? P.S. If you call me and I don't have your number saved, I'm not going to answer it. Because, first of all, I don't like to talk on the phone. And I really don't like to talk to people I don't know. So, there's that. Try it again, Stevie. That was so dumb. Why did I just do that? It's so hot in here. I'm in my little closet and I don't have a fan in here. And there's no air. And... Whoop, whoop. I just burped. Oh my. Throw it on the floor. It's what I said. Nope, didn't use it today. Just kidding. But that is all for my Monday must mess that up.
hair again, but not like, meh. You know what I mean? Like, there's only been a couple of, uh, girl needs a new brush. And, and this is the eyebrow, whoop, drop it on the floor. I need to eat. No, that's not right. Like, some, wh what was this? Go, go pokes. Yep, I'm going to try and be that girl that holds everything in her hands, like, Duh! Um, which would be a terrible way to get, like, knocked out. woman was knocked out by a giant gallon shampoo bottle. It's not really a gallon, it's a liter.